Well, good Tuesday morning to you folks. Hopefully you had a good night's rest and you are up and ready to face the day, whatever it may bring. I know um, um, depending on uh, what day of the week it is, maybe you have different things that you need to do or get done. I know here it is the first of the month. A lot of folks may be out and buying groceries, doing different things. So whatever it is you're doing today, I pray that God blesses you and you have a great day. Something on my mind this morning, and I will uh, share with you a piece of scripture from 1 Thessalonians in chapter 5. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Now, hopefully you understand what this is saying. Um, the spiritual enlightenment, enlightenment that the Holy Spirit gives to us, we are not in darkness. Now, we don't know what day he's coming, but we can look at the signs of the times. Jesus said um, that we would know if they did this in a green tree, he said, what would they do in a dry um, sometimes I've heard it said years ago, whenever I was young, people would say, well, the Bible says you won't know in the last days, you won't know the times or the seasons, but the Bible doesn't actually say that. Um, the scripture says, and God said that when he destroyed the earth the first time with the flood, that it would never be that way again, that there would always be those seasons, uh, that we would know them. But he does say at the times uh, we would be able to see when the fig leaf shoots forth her branches. We say that uh, it is uh, summer is nigh, so that we would be able to look and see as it was in the days of Noah. So shall be in the coming of the Son of Man. They will be eating, they will be drinking, they will be married and given in marriage. Uh, there are some things that are just going to go right on, and that is why. Uh, the book of Peter says that there would be scoffers coming in the last days saying, where is the coming Where is the, uh, the coming of his appearance? We've heard this since the fathers fell asleep. So Paul's writing here to uh, this church at Thessalonica. He's telling them of the times and the seasons they don't need that he would write unto them. For they know perfectly that the day of the Lord comes as a thief. But he says it doesn't have to overtake you as a thief. Now, what happens if a thief breaks into your home? If you're not there and you're not watching, the thief can break through and steal. But when you are, you're there with the ability to protect your home. And you can have an expectation. Uh, you can have the doors latched, latched however you would like to look at it, um, and locked in waiting uh, to guard yourself against someone that would come in. But if you don't care, if you don't know, the thief can come in and break in and steal. And so uh, he says, But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that they, they should overtake you as a thief. Like I said, we don't know what day or what hour, but we're not in darkness. We do know it's coming. And I would warn you, don't be overtaken. Don't The scripture also, um, the writer says, don't let your hearts be overcharged with surfiting and drunkenness and wickedness. And so be prepared. Uh, we do know he's coming. That is, um, <laughs> that's no secret. That is not uh, something that is kept hid from us. Uh, we do know that he is coming and we can tell um, by the things that are happening around us. So we've maybe never been this far before. Has there been troubled times? Yes, there has been. And even when I read this scripture, and I'm not trying to interpret this way, but when I read this scripture, it says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Uh, I think of the peace treaties made there uh, in Israel here a while back. You know, you just need to be attentive that uh, the Lord is coming and we need to be ready for his return. You are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, 
Let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Be aware. Um, you know, I, I think when we lived in Myrtle Beach, I would say to my wife, because we were from right here in a smaller area in Ohio and moving to Myrtle Beach and especially moving there as we did in um, right downtown Myrtle Beach by the airport. We moved there in 2013 in December. I was there for that first month by myself in, in January of 2014 she came and I said to her anytime she was out always be aware of your surroundings make sure that you can that you have an ability to keep your eye on the things around you for obvious reasons uh, and I would say today it's the same way be aware of your surroundings know that any day the Lord can come and we need to be prepared <laughs> Yesterday, uh, yesterday evening, I was thinking of this song and, and I was going to look up the words and I thought, well, I'll just give it a shot. I may not even look them up. Uh, I'll go on memory maybe, but this is a song that I've always enjoyed. I haven't sang it in my lifetime much. Um, I've heard different groups do it. I love bluegrass gospel music and I heard a bluegrass gospel group. Matter of fact, Doyle Lawson do this before, so we'll give it a shot. Just any day now, His face I'll see. Each time I stop and take the time to look around me, I see the signs of His appearing everywhere. The things He come to pass are now before us and I can feel a strange excitement in the air just any day now our Lord is coming he'll be returning for I'll gladly leave behind these trials here below. For this journey has been long and I'm so weary. And it seems I'm so much closer home. Just any Like I said, folks, don't be caught off guard. Just any day his face will see. Lord, we thank you for the day you've given us. God, I pray that you would bless, help us to uh, work for you today, Lord. Help us, God, not to waste a moment of the time that has been given to us to try to influence others for the kingdom of God. 
We know that one day and one day soon you will come to get your church. Lord, I pray that you would bless us to share the gospel with others, that they will not be left behind, but they as well will be looking for just any day now. Lord, you will send your son for your church. We love you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, folks. See you Wednesday.